Hey everyone, so I know this tag's been going around for a few weeks now and I'm finally getting around to doing it. So here it is, here's my Winterlicious tag. So I have the questions here on my iPod Touch and if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So the first question, the first question is uh, favorite winter nail polish. Now I don't have just one course because I'm bad um, but in general in the winter time since Christmas is um, here closely ugh. so the first question is a favorite winter nail polish now I am bad and I don't have just one but I do have a similar shade and in the winter time because of Christmas I love wearing red nails and I'm lucky now to work in an office that's fairly casual in terms of like how you can wear your makeup and accessories. So I wore red nails to our little office party um, and I've worn it to work and it's not a big deal. So that's really good. So the first nail polish is actually a little mini and this came from the um, Katy Perry limited edition and it's um, called the one that got away, I'm pretty sure. And I'm wearing it on my nails now. And it's just a really pretty kind of uh, pinky, uh, reddish, um, burgundy color. And it has a little bit of uh, shimmer in it, and it's really nice. I'd actually get three coats to get something close to what you see here in the bottle. But um, I think it's really worth it, and yeah, I really love it. It does chip. Um, kind of bad though, so heads up on that. The next nail polish I have is from Essie, and this I got last year. It's uh, Size Matters. And it's just a really pretty creamy um, brick red, and it's really nice on the nails, and it's really flattering uh, on my skin tone. So I really love reds. <laughs> Number two, favorite winter lip product. Now, I usually love uh, really sheer products on my lips, and I'm absolutely obsessed with these little lip butters. And my favorite one for this uh, winter is a red velvet. And I'm wearing it on my lips right now, really light um, layer of it. And it's a really pretty matte, uh, well, creamy, um, no sparkle in it, um, kind of a brick red shade. And it goes on sheer, and you can build it up to be pretty intense for one of the lip butters. It's actually one of the more um, pigmented lip butters in the range. So, uh, yeah, I love that. Number three, most worn winter clothing piece. I'm actually wearing it right now, so I can't really show you. It might be kind of awkward. Uh, it's my uh, lounge pants that I have. I bought them. Uh, from Target last year and the, the brand is Champion and they're really nice gray um, sweatpants but what's really nice is on the inside they have this fleece lining that keeps you so so warm and they're really comfortable. Number four, most worn winter accessory. Now I did check and shoes are considered accessories. Wikipedia says so. <laughs> So these are actually my favorite accessories for this winter time, fall, winter. And I bought these boots from Alloy.com a few years back and they're really slouchy, um, kind of a brownish tan color. Can't really remember the name of this kind of um, shade, but they're really nice and they have um, really, it's really comfy and warm on the inside for your feet. So I really love these. I've actually gotten a few compliments already this year um, about them. So I like to uh, wear my skinny jeans and then just wear these over them. Number five, favorite winter scent or candle? By far the cashmere glow. Um, for this time of year, I really like um, kind of muskier scents, but this isn't too musky. It has a nice little fruity element to it because it has uh, peach as one of the notes and I think it's like vanilla, peach, and a little bit of musk and I didn't think that I would like 
the peach in there, but it's really nice and adds a, a kind of light fruity element to it. And it's just really great to wear this time of year. And I actually um, wear it uh, together with the body wash and the lotion to kind of make this scent uh, a little bit um, more long lasting. Number six, favorite winter beverage. Now in terms of what I drink every day, I'd have to say tea, in particular Earl Grey. Uh, I absolutely love it. I never get sick of it. Um, in terms of an actual kind of uh, sweet treat I, uh, that I drink every once in a while but I really enjoy is hot chocolate. And in particular, I like to take a candy cane and stir it into the hot chocolate. That way it has a nice little um, uh, peppermint uh, pepperminty chocolate. <sighs> Can't talk. Now in terms of an actual um, sweet treat that I like. Now in terms of a uh, treat that I like to have every once in a while, I like hot chocolate. And in particular, I like to take a candy cane and stir it in. That way there's a nice um, chocolate mint uh, flavor to it and um, I really uh, enjoy that. It's a nice little indulgence. Number seven, uh, all-time favorite Christmas slash holiday movie. Now I have a few that I like to watch but I think uh, by far the one that has the warmest memories in my mind is the um, A Christmas Story. Yeah. Number seven, all-time favorite Christmas slash holiday movie. Uh, by far, I'd have to say uh, A Christmas Story. Um, I really like the kind of uh, retro, kind of looking back at your childhood um, element to it. Um, it's something that whenever it's on TV, I, <laughs> I must watch it. I absolutely love it. Number eight, favorite Christmas or holiday song, Trans-Siberian Orchestra's Christmas Sarajevo. Absolutely love it. I have it uh, blasting from my um, stereo in my car everywhere I go this time of year. It's just a really great song and I love it. Number nine, favorite holiday food or treat, anything mint chocolate. I absolutely love the combination and like I uh, hinted at earlier with my little uh, beverage I just I love mint and chocolate together um, I actually went on a little um, mint chocolate <laughs> buying spree at Target they had um, little candy that um, is mint chocolate and there's this one that I've been absolutely loving it's little pretzel sticks dipped in chocolate then sprinkled with little chunks of peppermint. It's amazing. It's just to die for. Number 10, what's your favorite Christmas decoration this year? Um, I don't actually have too many out because I'm still unpacking, but the one I do have out and my absolute favorite is my little snowman. Isn't he precious? I actually got this from my aunt a few Christmases back and he's just so precious. Um, he has little bells and he has this little sign that says days until Christmas and I think you're supposed to put maybe in chalk like count down the days till Christmas but I'm just so afraid I might ruin it I haven't even ever like put anything on it but I like to keep him on my um, dresser that way he greets me every morning and makes me really happy number 11 what's the top of your Christmas list by far a better camera, in particular the Canon T3i. I know it's really expensive and it's actually way out of my price range, but um, or my budget I should say, but it's just a really amazing camera. I've seen reviews of it online and I'm really just in love with it <laughs> from afar, love from afar. <laughs> and um, I really want better video quality for the um, for you guys so I can make better um, videos 
and I also uh, want to start up a blog. I actually have a blog spot uh, address. I just haven't put anything up because my camera that I have now is really crappy quality and I don't want to like put up pictures on a blog that are really bad and fuzzy. So I really want to do that and I've been really wanting to take up photography for a while so it'd be nice to kind of have an all around since it's an SLR you can uh, take really good video and still pictures with it so it'd be really nice to have. Number 12, what are your plans for the holidays this year? This is actually going to be my first uh, Christmas holiday season that I won't be with my parents. I usually spend it with them, but this year I decided I wanted to spend it with my boyfriend. I didn't want to travel, um, so I really wouldn't have a lot of time um, because of my job. Usually as a student, you get a winter break, and so I would go like a week or two, about a week, uh, before Christmas and go home and see them until a little after New Year. Since I don't have any time off because I just started my job, I would only be able to have a short window and I didn't want to like rush home um, right after Christmas. So I decided to stay here and I'm going to be spending it with my boyfriend and I'm looking forward to spending it with him. So that's it. That's the tag and I tag you. Uh, I was going to tag uh, Meg's Makeup 8, but she's already done it, and I really enjoyed watching hers, so good job, Meg. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I tag anyone that wants to do this. I'll probably uh, tag a few uh, specific people down below. I just forgot to um, find their names before I did this. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.